internet friends. Um, sorry for the interruption, but before I can continue with this video, I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare, if you don't know, is an online learning platform with over 30,000 different classes. These classes include things like photography, video, time management, even down to business management, which uh, brings me to the class that I want to talk about today. I was looking this morning because tax season is coming up. I just started YouTube like this past year. I don't know what I'm doing. And I found a class on bookkeeping, which is really important for tax season. I need all the help I can get. So if this sounds like something that is interesting to you or relevant, maybe go check out the link that's in my description below. Skillshare is offering a two month unlimited access free trial version. The premium membership gives you unlimited access to all of the content on their website. So go ahead and check out the link. It's free. After that, it's only about $10 a month. And with that, we can move on to yes, the we video. Are. Um, we are stopped in somebody's yeah, private property. <laughs> Try my but it was just so pretty. We are here today to talk about van lifing in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, a few days ago, we were camping and we woke up and it was really cold. That's so pretty. Okay, back Actually to distracted <laughs> with Hannah. <laughs> I figured it would be a good opportunity to talk about van lifing in the cold. I asked my Instagram followers if they had any questions, I guess, um, because for me, a lot of times things just feel like, well, this is just life. This is how I live it. It doesn't occur to me. That like, it's not normal for other people? Yeah, it, like for me, it's just like kind of no brainer stuff, you know, because the first stuff I did grow up in the snow in Minnesota, <laughs> so I know how to deal with it. Uh, that is why I asked Instagram. And the first question that anybody asked, okay, before I do anything, um, I'm going to preface this by saying this is all relevant to my van setup. My van setup is very rudimentary. I literally only have electricity wise. I just have my invert, like my deep cycle. I can't talk. Cycle. It's too cold. <laughs> my deep cycle battery. I don't have solar or anything. Um, my deep cycle only charges off of my starter battery when I'm driving the car. And right now my inverter is having problems. So I don't even really have that. So basically I'm just living in my car with like no electricity. Like heat takes up a lot of power. Basically it's like to stay warm at night, we're under the covers. Yes, basically it's so like, like I'm, you we're camping. We're just, basically camping yeah. in a vehicle that doesn't have any like Happens fancy. to have a mattress in it, which is yes. nice. <laughs> so the first question that literally everybody asks is how do you keep warm? And like I said, no heat. My van, even when we're driving, the heat doesn't really work a little bit, but it doesn't like yeah. it doesn't it's doesn't get that hot. It's not heating like the entire back either. It's like your feet while you're driving. Kinda. Maybe when it's like freezing, freezing cold, that heat barely does anything when I'm driving. So that I should probably just get fixed. <laughs> Besides the driving, I don't heat the van with my heat from the van. Like it doesn't work. I also don't have any like heating things. Having a space heater wouldn't work because I just don't have the electrical capabilities in the van to power anything with heat for any significant amount of time. I would have to have the van running to make anything with heat work. So like heated blankets, heaters, any of that stuff, anything with heat takes a lot of power and I usually will have to turn the van on to make it work. So that's just not an option for me. So basically what I do to keep warm is dress in layers. I wear a lot of like, I'll put like, I mean, Yesterday when it was really freezing cold, I had a tank top on, I had a cashmere sweater, I had a like thin down jacket like this one, I had um, this like Columbia knit sweater and then this jacket on, on top of that. And then I had- And a scarf and- And a scarf mittens. and I had leggings under my jeans, I have like thick socks and some like Sorel boots. So that's what I'm wearing. And that's kind of stays the same when I get in the van and when I get under the covers, it'll maybe take like a layer off. And this My, is in like cold that's not like ridiculously cold either. It's like, you know, it's 30 kind degrees. Of the same, it's kind of the same no matter what though. Like free, it's like freezing temperature. Yeah. yeah. My friend Truck and I went and slept on the North shore in like sub degree weather. So you can check out that video if you want. That was like really freezing, but you kind of are prepared the same way, no matter like what kind of cold it is. You're just cold. So you're going to layer up and then the van isn't warm, so it's not pleasant getting dressed in the morning, it's not pleasant like doing any, like cooking, it's just not pleasant, which is just the reality of it. But I mean, 
you got the pros and cons, you got the payoff of like yeah. being able to be somewhere really beautiful. Sleeping is actually not that bad, even in like the sub degree weather when I was with Trek up north, like getting in bed and sleeping for the night, we were almost hot because we like had a bunch of clothes on and then like we get under the- And your body heat starts yeah. warming everything up into there. And I have like a, a down blanket. Mm -hmm. It's like fake down, but it's still, it's like a big blanket. It's warm. It's warm. It's so warm you're warm at night. at night and warm at night is like really the biggest problem because yeah. that's when you're like not moving you're not you know keeping your body temperature up so that's just kind of what it is with your face <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> sorry wow we really spent a lot of time on that, that could, next yeah. question was um electric heater electric blanket situation again i don't have those things oh big one insulation how important was the insulation in my van build i tell everybody this <laughs> anyone i come into contact with who's thinking about building a van i'm like do not put insulation in it. It's a it waste of fucking time. And space, honestly, because it's, it's an inch and a half space. you put in, right? My, my insulation yeah. is like this thick, right? And it's like on the walls and the ceiling. And, and that's cutting off that much space. Like oh you could have had three I more inches had, of leg room exactly, laying down laying on Laying down your bed. is huge. All of it. And like, like head space, all of that is just like so much space that could have been. Basically, if you have any windows that you're not gonna like take the time to insulate, like the insulation in the van is just totally no like it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to have it all of the cold air is going to come in through the window like it doesn't i have so many windows in my van i got the windshield i got the back windows i got the side windows like it's just like doesn't make any sense i wasted all of that space with the insulation <laughs> for my specific van build if you're trying to emulate or recreate or whatever like this kind of like ford econoline low ceiling a lot of windows van build the insulation isn't worth insulation it insulation was not worth it i would not even bother i would just build straight up against the walls the insulation is doing nothing that's not keeping me warm at all somebody asked what i do for hot showers hot showers are essentially the same as we're on our way to one <laughs> yeah. if you watch my um my showering video that i made last summer i'm not i have not been showering in lakes and streams because it's fucking cold <laughs> So, um, yeah, so basically hot showers is just at the gym or friends' houses. Most people that I meet are like, oh, do you need a shower? <laughs> like a place to shower? And I'm like, cool. Yeah, I have a gym membership to Anytime Fitness. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hot shower. It's not always hot, actually. Texas had the shittiest hot water. Okay. Yeah, Texas is also a little warmer than Yeah, but it was else. cold while I was in Texas. Uh -huh. <laughs> Somebody asked... How do I keep the van clean in the winter? Um, it's the same way I keep it clean in the summer. Take your shoes off when you're about to get in. That's kind of my rule. It's like going a little in house step too. into the van. We just kind of store our shoes in there. Yeah. The other thing I've learned is that it's a van. It's gonna get a little dirty. I've got like fake wood floors, so they've got that varnished coat on them. Easy to clean. I mean, I either take like a wet rag and wipe off any mud or whatever, or I just kind of hand sweep it out. Sweep out. Well, like I've last night, we had firewood thing. in there, and it got. Junk yeah, everywhere like I'm and just, just kind of sweep it. Yeah, and people are like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I got sand or whatever in your van." I'm like, "It's an it's adventure gonna van. Dirty. <laughs> it's gonna get dirty." I there's just dirt in the bed. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's dirt in the bed always for my plants. Oh, oh, next thing, plants. Somebody asked, "How do I keep the plants alive in the winter?" And I don't, guys. I those go inside. I actually get really stressed out about the plants when it starts getting cold, oh. which is why I usually start like sprinting to home or like somewhere with like people who will take my plants off of me because they get them. so sad and i like they're like my little babies i've had, had them, them forever i've had them for like three four years now yeah. and they've just been growing and growing and growing and they're doing fine right now as long as like we're in the van breathing and like keeping the air warm and like running the van and whatever it's getting to the point where and like, we're gonna be need, back soon, yeah they so. need to go home the plants plants in the winter are just not gonna happen like you get fake plants if you want to be driving around this style tops. somebody asked if i get hotels when it's super cold and i would have to say no because i'm super duper cheap so i'd rather like freeze my bums off and just like stay under the covers and all you've day. never been anywhere like so crazy cold where you're like no i cannot safely stay in the van and the other thing is like if you are in a place like that you leave like you're on wheels so you just, just get out yeah <laughs> like we like for example we're in the mountains it's like okay yeah. you just drive lower and it's warmer yeah well and that's the other thing is like usually during winters i try to drive south i keep doing this sorry um i try to go south because i know that it's going to be warmer south. and that's the style of van you have you just know yep. that exactly so i did not deck out my van for winter and who doesn't want to be in the warm in the winter anyways mm -hmm. parking in snow uh parking in snow is exactly the same as parking in 
not snow. <laughs> don't park in a snowbank. Don't park in anything you're not gonna be able to get out of. Um, one thing Molly is telling me is I should probably snow. get snow, snow tires. tires or like or adventure season. tires, yeah. <laughs> which I do need to do. Outdoor activities. Outdoor activities. I don't know, like oh, adventure. Do we just we were climbing around mm -hmm. waterfalls yesterday. That was kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, just do what you normally do in the snow. Just I guess. Dress, like, dress warm. <laughs> yeah, dress warm. That's all I can really say about yeah. that. Is like just you don't have anything like with you. Like you don't have a snowboard with you. No, or, like, I don't. Snowshoes yeah, or... I. One thing I do want to start doing with this van. Um, now that I'm more like comfortable and kind of in the groove with it is kind of maybe get like a roof rack and get more like toys that I can help like, it a little more. Yeah. Um, the only thing that will be the drawback of that is that it won't be as like stealth, like work truck looking van. Yeah. It'll be like, Oh, they live in that van. So I'll just have to kind of figure that out as I go. But, um, <laughs> what's it like driving you're gonna have to Cold gauge that it warms it's... up a little bit no, then... but I think they mean like terrain wise, my van handles really freaking terribly. Yeah. And on ice in the and snow that's part of the tire issue it's the tire issue yeah. i really need different tires i'm so scared to go home and like drive in the winter snow stuff because like my van handles so badly in the snow if you've never driven in snow you're going to need to figure that out if you're going to be in snow places because there is definitely a technique to it you got to drive slow you have to learn how to like handle on ice and, and like, every vehicle's different. you're gonna drift at some point you yep. need to like know how that feels mm -hmm. and know how to not fishtail yeah i don't i don't really feel like i can explain how to drive in snow because like i don't it's what do i feel yeah you just have to you're gonna have to it. just take it slow maybe it's like any weather like drive if it's downpouring you, you drive slow you just mm -hmm. take it as it comes yeah Ooh, man, don't do reason. it in a busy place so that you hit things <laughs> somebody asked why I don't know. I'm trying to stay away from cold, but um, I guess if you want to Sometimes beat, it happens. And it's beautiful. Yeah. It's really pretty. Like, I I enjoy it. It's just really freaking cold. Meals. What kind of meals do you cook? Hot ones? You try to make hot ones, I guess. We um, meal and pasta. Yeah. I mean, I have, like, a little camp stove. You're going to have to cook outside, I guess, but that's just what you got to do. <laughs> Bathroom. Somebody said, do you still have to pee outside in the cold? Um, yes. <laughs> Yeah, yes you do. It's cold, but <laughs> yeah, it's chilly. But again, it's all just like things you just have to deal with. Like, yeah. if you're not gonna outfit your van, my van was like a six thousand dollar build. I don't have running water. I don't have a bathroom. I don't have a shower. Like, if you're gonna have a very rudimentary van, you just have to deal. Like, you have to be somebody who is like, I don't care. I'll poop outside. That's it. Is what it is. You know, like you just learn how to deal with that stuff. And that's the end of the list. Is there anything, <laughs> anything else we need to talk about while we're freezing? I don't know. I think that kind of goes over most of yeah. it. I mean, always it's like they can ask more questions in the comments. And yes, stuff, you can ask you know? more questions in the comments. You guys feel free to like, if you have any input, like if you live in a van and it's cold, you know, comment, talk about it. Um, I would love to have a discussion in the comment section because i obviously do not have all of the information i'm just dealing this with this is it. just what you do <laughs> yeah like i just deal with it as it comes you know like i figure it out if it's too freaking cold i move if it's like you look like you're getting colder i'm and getting colder. colder and colder my hands are freezing i wanted to wrap it up by saying know yourself <laughs> like know whether you are okay like maybe you're a little bit more of a princess like that's okay you know like i have friends who are like i don't want to i don't want to well, put and, like the person who wanna... asked why why would you go in the snow it's like well <laughs> don't. On if you don't want preference. to, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's totally up to personal if preference. If you're not happy in that situation, um, get out of it. Yeah, so you just have to know yourself and what you're willing to take, what you're willing to deal with. And that, But that's true for all of van life. You know, that'll depend on how you build your van. <laughs> I only feel like all of the... All of the things you need to consider when you're building your van, before you move into a van, when you buy a van, all of those things. So, that is all I have to say. Get on the road again. <laughs> really? Um, it's so pretty though. This is what I put up with. Put up with? Let's go. Okay, bye YouTube.